Uh, All right. Uh, Welcome okay. back to New Mac. <laughs> Can I assume that you are not acquainted with the woman called Farika Bint Nidal Al Mahdi? God bless you. Uh, do any of you happen to be familiar with the legend of Dizumfhexa? I can't say that we are. God bless you again, sir. I've given you a, a lot of information to digest. A lot uh, of exposition, absolutely. Quite a bit. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I will not be bringing any more students under me or, or telling anyone else in my organization uh, about this threat. So, for the Shouldn't moment... should like the Pope know or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, can, does he have some kind of say in this? Well, as I said, my superior and his superior are informed of this, but um, uh, yeah. our ways... How far up in that chain is Jesus? Well, on the, <laughs> on the very top, of course. <laughs> We know that vampires can be feral, mindless predators, incapable of oh, thoughts okay. beyond satisfying their depraved urges. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. we're, we're right here. But others can be extremely patient, cunning, and convincing to the weak-willed. I got. Here's my question. Um, after we help you avoid the imminent threat on your life and then mm -hmm. the world, mm -hmm. are you just going to go back to just trying to kill me and my friends all the time, like right away? Yes. That doesn't really seem like we should help you without some kind of promise that you're going to stop hunting us. Perhaps uh, an arrangement could be made. Special vampire clemency. I've always wanted to have a vampire version of diplomatic immunity. Something I could really sink my teeth into. Okay. Uh, Father Palladian, we're not asking for a truce. We're not asking for a partnership or an allyship. <laughs> Give us a 10 second head start. <laughs> we're, ask we're asking to be BFFs forever. Maybe even oh, more than oh. friends. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I think that this might be an appropriate time for us to, uh, as they say, exchange digits. Uh, would would one of you kindly exchange phone numbers with uh, one of my students? And let I put my cell phone in that robe. <laughs> when when he said that, I got a little glimmer in my eye. And I kind of like grab Augustine's shoulder. I'm like, he wants my number. <laughs> Augustine, uh, or Archibald just wants approval and a friend. Just positive relationships with people. Oh, no, no. Like, Onion Jack is my friend. I want to date Father Palladian. <laughs> He's a silver fox. Uh, well, do you exchange uh, It's one of those with... enemies to lovers relationships. I insist what? I exchange my number first because, okay. you know, I, you know. <laughs> I, I knock both of their pieces of paper and pens out of the way. I write my <laughs> number My on... good man, you mentioned not being willing to contribute the lives and bodies of your descendants. However, in this allyship, what are you offering as aid are you nothing more than a, a a neutral entity at this point what are you contributing here i uh, i just say father don't listen to him i'm i scrawl my number and also on the paper i write call me which is redundant because it already ha it has my number on it and what else are you going to do with that <laughs> i get and i give it to him and he doesn't really want it so i give it to to Donna Teller, but then I say, like, the, it's for him. <laughs> okay. That don't get the note confused. It's for him. Darby misunderstood exchanging digits and is just like, six! <laughs> <laughs> Something. Uh, yes, that's one we need. We need, like, <laughs> nine more. <laughs> 
Um, Six? I said what? Something distracts you uh, in the sky above the church. I, you I see look to the sky. What's that in the sky? Hark. A bird, a plane. <laughs> mm, it's bird-like. Is it a oh, bat no, signal? The the horseman of pestilence. You Does it see, have legs? No, you see a beam of light being cast up in the night sky. You look up and through the trees, you see a searchlight illuminating the overcast sky with a silhouette of a no! bat. No! It's the bat signal. No! Symbol. Darby starts running for the car. We got to go now. Father, great timing. I knew timing. this was going to happen. Do you want to go God get pestilence with it. us? That's our bat signal, by the way. Darby is pulling the car around. Like he's he's making no he's pissed that he's going to miss out on some of the action. He's hurrying as quickly as he can to get the car and start getting back to the abattoir. I'll text Father you Bladen the address. Says, I'll text you the address. I I say shotgun and I slide across the hood, Dukes of Hazard style. You got to roll for that? You just, you just, does it does it work automatically? Do I have to roll not? for sliding across the dashboard? What is my slide roll? Well, I guess it depends on if you're trying to accomplish anything with it. No, just I'm not. I'm just looking seat. fly as fuck. I'm looking cool. You do it. It's great. Cool. <laughs> Is that a... That's it. You do it. It's great. <laughs> Is that a drive roll? Do in the in the flurry of action, is there at any point where I have a quick moment to ask Father What's His Nuts um, about <laughs> the pe- Is that about how the- you address him? Excuse me. Father, what's his nuts? Father, My good man, nuts? Father, what's your nuts? Um, do I have <laughs> time to ask him I, I, if he has any information about Change the both the pentagram points. that we found in all the other ritual spots and uh, also to get an answer for the question I asked about whether or not he has dick to offer uh, as far as like, <laughs> well, because the fucking... He's reluctant to expose his students to so much danger, especially having just met all of you. Uh, but did okay. you answer his question? Does he have dick to offer? Um, <laughs> and he's withholding <laughs> dick uh, from Augustine. Okay. Uh, very, very stingy um, with the dick. You In the headlights, you get a good look at this horse. Um, it's a white horse. But it's not just white. Its skin is translucent and slimy like a jellyfish. And you can see veins and tendons underneath the skin. I'm not waiting for I'm, I'm going for it. Like if I see a target when we get here, my first instinct is to jump out the car door and sprint after it as fast as I can. Why aren't you just driving after it? You hit the hor- horse with such speed that in that split second, it looks like the legs just separate and snap off and go oh. under the car. And the rest of the horse gets kind of spread out in this uh, this wet, soupy mess across the windshield, over the car, uh, filling the bed, the, oh, the mullet no. of the El Camino, which I believe... Was Augustine in the mullet? Augustine is, is in. Uh, He's just covered in protoplasm from this thing? Yeah, just horse bones, weird fungal smelling goo. Uh, Not the normal insides of a horse, but uh, yeah, you have (laughs) at high speed disassembled this horse. Darby gets out and is only concerned for the car. It doesn't have eyes, but it more or less looks at you in your eyes and it hisses. And then it says to you, Ich bin die Plage, die das Leben frisst, die Pest, um deine Welt zu beenden. Bless you, motherfucker. Uh, And so this time I want to meet his bite with like bared fangs and uh, just bite him right back. This is essentially a a very violent makeout session at this point. That's right. That's right. And... I'm doing it the way I like it, not the way he likes it, for the record. Okay. I'm in there with some pressure, and when I'm done, he's not the same as he was before. He's changed. changed. And clasps one of the trees, pops a blood, and casts Awaken the Forest Giants. Oh, boy. This is one of your your big power moves. Big boy spell. I, I do things. 
I try and specifically point at pestilence, but I have no idea where the French fuck uh, the eyes on a tree are. So I'm like... So maybe you could describe it clearly with your words? <laughs> yeah, how many words can you use? Be a fucking a magician, for God's sake. He, he can have a whole conversation with it. Oh, Crush. well then why has he been doing this one word thing? <laughs> it's not Crush. dominate. He's so verbose every other moment. <laughs> Crush the winged beast! There you go. Okay, I eat its soul. I want to eat its soul. <laughs> we split the soul. <laughs> and we both eat the soul. Uh, I want. Lady, lady in the tramp, the soul. Yeah. 